Baron Trump has spent most of his life in the public eye, so there's no shortage of him doing notable stuff on camera. From an impromptu game of peekaboo to an epic high-five fail, the youngest Trump probably wishes he could erase these awkward moments. Baron Trump has often been compared to his father, even by his own mom. In 2013, Melania Trump confessed to ABC News, I call him Mini Donald. So, when a 10-year-old Baron showed up at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland in July 2016, it was no wonder he looked like a miniature version of the future president. He donned a suit that looked just like his dad's and was initially all smiles. Then things went south. Despite their similar fashion sense and reportedly strong bond, Barron isn't always impressed by Donald, and he has a hard time hiding it. During Donald's lengthy RNC speech, Barron could be seen fighting off boredom and sleep. Cameras captured his every move as he yawned, hung his head in his hands, and tried his best to keep his eyes open. At other times, he was laser-focused on picking lint off his seat. Barron also struggled through Ivanka's speech and tried to keep busy by fiddling with his tie and a water bottle. As the crowd cheered, he rubbed his eyes and looked seriously pained, earning a death stare from Melania. The young Trump's struggle to stay awake soon went viral, with ABC News proclaiming, Baron Trump seemed to want to be anywhere but the RNC. I think it's great. Barron's antics at the 2016 RNC were undoubtedly funny, but he truly outdid himself on Inauguration Day. While the newly sworn-in President Donald Trump addressed the nation for the first time, his youngest son again struggled to fight back his yawns. The youngster's face said it all as he did his best to be attentive and listen to his dad's 16-minute inaugural speech. However, Barron just ended up looking bored. His expressions soon went viral, and surprisingly, X, formerly known as Twitter, was 100% behind him. One ex-user wrote, As someone who once was a 10-year-old, I can confirm that Baron Trump is thinking of a hundred things he would rather be doing right now. The only one who could capture Barron's attention that day was baby Theodore, Ivanka Trump's son. As Donald Trump signed his cabinet nominations into law with his family behind him, Barron was caught playing peekaboo with his nephew. Baron Trump wasn't just visibly bored by his father's lengthy inauguration speech, he was also not impressed with his mom's attempts to be a cool parent. As Melania Trump and her son watched Donald address the nation, they engaged in a pretty awkward high-five fail. Indeed, in what would become the ultimate viral moment of the day, Melania tried to high-five Baron, and clearly he was appalled. Rather than going with the flow, the 10-year-old refused to high-five his mom, then made a swatting gesture as if to show his displeasure and demand she stop. Instead, Melania laughed at the brush-off and raised her hand again, seemingly teasing her son. As you would expect from a kid of his age, Baron was not laughing. So when his mom turned around, he again swatted the air behind her back in what appeared to be pure annoyance. But that wasn't the only headline-making exchange the pair had that day. While walking in the parade that followed the swearing-in, Melania could be seen reaching for her son's hand. You can guess what happened next. Baron quickly snatched his hand away and continued walking. I let him be who he is. He's my child. It should come as no surprise that Baron Trump has grown up enjoying an insanely lavish life. From gold-covered living quarters to the very best private schools, nothing is too good for Donald Trump's youngest child. Even his skincare routine is of the highest standards, as Melania Trump revealed in 2013. That was the year she launched a five-product beauty collection called Melania Caviar Complex C6. The various creams cost between $50 and $150, and what set them apart was the inclusion of caviar in each formulation. However, they weren't reserved for A-listers or high-end clients. As Melania told ABC News, she was in the habit of using her Caviar Complex C6 moisturizer on Baron after his bath every single night. She told the news outlet, "...it smells very, very fresh. I put it on him from head to toe. He likes it." It's the kind of confession that may embarrass Baron now, as he gets ready to enter college. But then again, the youngest Trump always marched to the beat of his own posh drum. As Melania mused at the time, he's not a sweatpants child. Donald Trump is said to have a loving relationship with his son Baron, but he wouldn't know that from a speech he delivered back in September 2019. The president was joined by Melania Trump as he spoke to reporters about the growing popularity of vaping and its dangers, especially among children and young adults. He said at the time, "...we can't allow people to get sick, and we can't have our youth be so affected." The press conference was supposed to be an opportunity to talk about a newly announced push to get the FDA to ban flavored e-cigarettes. As Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar explained to the FDA, 
We intend to clear the market of flavored e-cigarettes to reverse the deeply concerning epidemic of youth e-cigarette use that is impacting children, families, schools, and communities. It was a noble initiative, but soon the headlines became all about Donald's parenting, as he found a novel way of referring to Barron. While explaining that the issue was important to Melania because it hit close to home, he said, And that's how the First Lady got involved. She's got a son together that is a, a beautiful young man. And Folks immediately noticed that he said she and not we, and as one ex-user noted, it wasn't exactly a sweet slip-up. The ex-user wrote, Bet that makes Baron feel all warm and fuzzy.